0.5 theorem it x be a normed space the following statements are equivalent so every closed and bounded subset of x is compact first statement its closed unit body is compact and the next is finite dimensional and we have proved it's one implies two and two implies and the finally we uh, want to show that three implies one for this suppose that x is finite dimensional and let e be a closed and bounded subset of x then we want to show that this e is compact here we show that every sequence in e has a subsequence which converses in e because it is by theorem 3.5 let x be a metric space then x is compact if and only if every sequence in x has a convergent subsequence now our assumption is that x is finite dimensional therefore we can take a basis with the finite number of elements y1 y2 etc and consider an arbitrary sequence x and in x then x and can be written as the linear combination of these elements is x and is equal to kn1 y1 plus kn2 y2 plus etc plus kn m y n for n is equal to 1 to etc Now, since e is bounded, sequence x and e is bounded. E is bounded means for every element x belongs to e, there exists some positive constant m such as that, norm x less than or equal to m. And uh, and x and the terms in x and are in e, therefore x and e is bounded. Then by 5.4b, if x n is equal to k n y one plus k n two y two plus etc plus k n m y n is bounded, then these scalars, each scalars k n j is bounded for each j is equal to one to etc up to m. Then by Borsanov-Weierstrass theorem 3.7b, every bounded sequence in k n has a convergent subsequence. Every bounded sequence in k n has a convergent subsequence. Every sequence k n j in k Therefore, this has a convergent subsequence. Since we can take can take a subsequence uh, in sequence k and j, it will be sequence k and p j, where n one less than n two less than etc. That converges in k as p tends to infinity for each j is equal to one to etc. Sequence k and one in the subsequence are na sequence k and one one k and two one k and three one etc. The k and two in the subsequence will be. Two fixed. This j is fixed. Then k n one two, k n two two, k n three two, etc. That converges in k as p tends to infinity. Then by 5.4b, the sequence sequence x and p. Again, what is x and p? Then x and p is p k n p one y uh, y one plus k n p two y two plus etc. And we know that if these scalars converges, then sequence x and p converges. Therefore, sequence k and p j converges in k implies the sequence x p that is expressed as the linear combination of y one, y two, etc. In this way, k and p one, y one plus k and p two, y two plus etc. And k and p j is converges to some element in k. Therefore, this x and p converges. That is by 5.4b. 5.4b लंदा बारे में x n is equal to k n one y one plus k n two y two plus etc plus k n m y m converges. If and only if sequence k n j converges. Therefore sequence k n b j converges implies sequence x n b converges. Since sequence x n b belongs to E and E is closed, we have x belongs to E because वो एक closed set है लेकिन यहाँ तो लगा converges इन sequence लगा लिया। अदल तने Converge. Therefore, x belongs to. This is this subsequence of sequence x n converges in E. And that is the sequence x n has a convergent subsequence in E. Therefore, it is.